नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर योगेश पत्रा आई एम अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन गैस्ट्रोन्ट्रोलॉजी एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल टुडे वी वुड टॉक अबाउट लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस नीडेड फॉर प्रिवेंशन एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पेप्टिक अल्सर डिजीज वॉट आर द लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस नीडेड टू प्रिवेंट पेप्टिक अल्सर डिजीज सो पेप्टिक अल्सर इज वन ऑफ द diseases which can largely be prevented and even cured by changes done in the lifestyle one of the most important lifestyle changes is stress reduction although there is no direct data which has shown that mental stress leads to peptic ulcer but there is enough supporting evidence to suggest that a stress reduction and calming of the mind leads to healing of these ulcers how soon can one recover peptic ulcer is a completely treatable and curable disease the treatment protocol for uncomplicated peptic ulcer is 4 to 6 weeks and recovery should be complete in 4 to 6 weeks time so any advice for indian population due to dietary trends yes indians tend to eat a lot of spices they tend to eat a lot of junk food and they tend to drink and smoke a lot so as we are becoming more and more prosperous our diet is constantly changing our alcohol consumption is increasing we are increasingly eating from outside so my advice for prevention of peptic ulcer would be that continue to eat home cooked food do not take too much of chilies do not drink and smoke can peptic ulcer result from medicines taking for other disease Yes, peptic ulcer can result from medicines taken for other disease, like the commonest medicine which causes peptic ulcers in today's world is aspirin, which is given to patients who have heart disease. Those who have had stenting done, aspirin is a medicine which prevents blockage of these stents. But the side effect of aspirin is that it causes peptic ulcer. Which fruits and vegetables can I have? so there is no restriction on any kind of fruits and vegetables possibly citrus fruits can uh, at times aggravate uh, ulcers so only they should be avoided otherwise all vegetables and fruits can be had can i take aspirin or blood pressure medicine so both these medicines are usually given to patients who have high blood pressure or any cardiac illness aspirin can aggravate peptic ulcer so if you need aspirin for a long period of time consult your cardiologist and most of the times he would give additional medicine to prevent peptic ulcer can i consume alcohol no you cannot consume alcohol alcohol is one of the most common precipitating factors for peptic ulcer after h pylori infection and after nsaids so alcohol is a strict no no for those who have peptic ulcer or are likely to develop peptic ulcers is consumption of tobacco safe absolutely not tobacco in any form whether it is tobacco chewing whether it is smoking cigarettes or even smoking hookah can all lead to peptic ulcers so there is a myth that people think that smoking hookah is is very safe and it is becoming very very fashionable these days in restaurants so even smoking hookah can lead to peptic ulcers so any kind of tobacco consumption should be avoided and discouraged will i gain weight due to peptic ulcer you can gain weight due to peptic ulcer it depends upon the type of ulcer you have so peptic ulcers can be gastric ulcers if they are in the stomach or they can be duodenal ulcers if they are in the first part of the small intestine gastric ulcers are aggravated by food so whenever food comes in somebody who has a gastric ulcer tends to get increase in pain and the reason for that is that food increases the secretion of hydrochloric acid which irritates the nerve endings and it causes more pain however those with duodenal ulcers on the other hand get a relief in pain with food and because they get a relief in food with food they tend to eat more so 
those patients who have a duodenal ulcer can actually gain weight and become overweight secondary to the ulcer. So today we discussed the lifestyle changes which have to be made to prevent and treat a peptic ulcer. We discussed that those patients who consume alcohol, who smoke, who have a very uh, who have type A personalities are likely to result in peptic ulcer. We also discussed that those patients who are taking drugs like aspirin or any other painkiller can develop peptic ulcer. Those who have a number of illnesses can also develop peptic ulcer. So one has to be cautious in these situations. One has to either change lifestyle to avoid peptic ulcer or one has to take concomitant medicine so that peptic ulcers do not happen. If you come across any ulcer symptoms, do consult your doctor. Do not let the symptoms linger on. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed.